Stop the attack! Stop the attack! Stop the attack! Stop the attack! On the board! On the board! Those in favor of the board. The 99 percent! We are! 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 The 99 This bill basically takes the, uh, the lifetime uh, welfare benefits from from 60 months down to 30 months, uh, a background check that would uh, indicate whether there has been a drug conviction or not. We also are taking this qualification from seven sanctions down to three sanctions. All of these bills that are being proposed take away the lifeline for poor families. And for what? The amount of money that goes to MFIP for families, women primarily and children, is less than one half of one percent of the state budget. That's what these are all, are all about, one half of one percent. We are so sick and tired of those of you who promote these poor bashing bills playing games with people's lives for your own political gain. We are sick and tired of you using the good people of our state as sound bites because you think you can win votes by beating down the mother who is trying to raise her children the best way she can in an economic crisis and deep poverty. We are in a severe crisis. Tens of thousands are out of work or looking for work. Who in their right mind would consider throwing families off income assistance at this time? There are just not enough jobs to go around. On top of that, you want to spend precious state money to do background checks and look for offenses in the past 10 years. This is another version of the drug testing of welfare recipients that was imposed in Florida, and everyone knows what went down. 98% passed those tests, leaving the state with over $170 million in costs for the drug testing and only a minor, minuscule amount of savings. If you think that you're going to get a political capital or ramp up your voting machine, by passing this poor bashing legislation or get the voting machine going for your re-election by beating up on mothers and their children in poverty, I challenge you to think again. If you think you can continue to scapegoat and criminalize poor people while you openly let the rich get by without paying a dime for the crisis they created, you really need to think again. Every one of you has constituents that are unemployed, facing unemployment, or scared about how long their job might last, or losing their homes to foreclosure. What is your solution? Are you working to create jobs so we can get back to work? No. Are you working to extend unemployment? No. Are you working to stop the foreclosures? No. Are you working to get tax revenue from the wealthiest? No. Ms. You're beating up on poor yeah, people. Okay, I will finish up. This is what we want. Instead of putting a three-year time limit on welfare, we want a three-year time limit on poverty. The offenses that you're committing right here in this committee, right now, under the guise of legislation, are the most criminal offenses of all. You're willing to put our Ms. lives at risk to earn to yourselves you political points. Eight testifiers. Those who are writing bills like this are the true offenders. You need to stop these hateful attacks on the people of Minnesota you don't have the right to your public funds you're getting for your job when what you are doing is using your position to attack the public in this state. This is a crime. Representative Fritz. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I just, uh, I, I'm, I'm actually uh, stunned that this is not tabled today on Ash Wednesday. We should be practicing the corporal works of mercy. This is what this committee is about. We should be thinking in a while finding ways to feed the poor, not take food from the mouths of their children. I'm very, very disgusted with this bill. This does more harm, more harm than I can ever imagine. I cannot believe that I am sitting in a committee today that is hearing this, especially on Ash Wednesday. We are the 99%. We are the 99%. We are the 99%. We are the 99%.